Hey guys, it's Drew Brashler with DBB Audio. Today I'm here with the Behringer X32 and the Waves XWSG card. I was wanting to show you a little bit more advanced routing with being able to send 16 channels post EQ and compression of the X32 to SoundGrid, and then those 16 channels coming back to the board. Now the benefit of doing it this way is if you are using one board that is sending in-ears or monitors, and you were wanting to have those monitors have none of your processing that you're applying via multi-rack, then this is the one way of doing that, is that you can send your 16 channels without multi-rack to the monitors, and then you can have 16 channels being able to send into your main PA that is post multi-rack. Now the one big downside of this is you are sacrificing 16 channels of your board. Now if you are using an X32 and you have 16 additional channels, this is one pretty cool way of doing it. So let's go ahead and hop in and check this out. So the first thing that we're going to do is go ahead and hit the routing button here, and we come up with our home tab. Now we're going to change some of this here. I'm going to have my inputs 1 through 8 and 9 through 16 as my channels that are coming back through multi-rack. So let's go ahead and select card 1 through 16 on these. So we're going to scroll all the way down, select card 1 through 8, and card 9 through 16. Now my input 17 through 32, what I'm going to have those set up as is these are going to be my actual inputs from the back of the board, being able to send these to my uh, monitors. So we're going to go ahead and select local 1 through 8 and local 9 through 16. So what that's going to enable me to do is have my 1 through 16 layer as my multi-rack channels and my 17 through 32 as my monitor channels. So then let's go ahead and route the card out portion now. So we're going to go ahead and tab over to card out and we're actually going to be doing some fancy routing here in that we're going to select P16 1 through 16 on our outputs for 1 through 16. So let's go ahead and do that real quick. We're going to go down to P16 1 through 8 and P16 9 through 16. Now the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to Ultranet and we're going to select direct outs of our channels 17 through 32. Now what this is going to do is this is going to enable us to select a post dynamics and post EQ tap to be able to send those 16 channels to multi-rack. So let's go ahead and go to PIG16 output 1, and this is going to be a direct out from 17. And we are going to go ahead and select pre-fader on this. And now we're going to go to 2, and we're going to select 18, and pre-fader. Now I'm going to go ahead and skip forward a little bit on this. So now that we've routed our, seven, our 16 channels on 17 through 32 to our card out through the P16 Ultranet, the next thing that we need to do is we need to go actually and remove those from the stereo bus. So go ahead and select your 17 and press home. We're going to tab over to main and then we're going to press the LR button to remove that. Now we're going to go ahead and select channel 18 and remove. 19, 19. That's it. That's all the routing that you have to do. We have 16 channels that are unaffected by any of our plugins in multi-rack that we can send to our monitors. And then we also have 16 channels that are from our post EQ and dynamics on the board going into multi-rack and then back to the board that we can use for our front of house. Now the one downside of this is that, hey, we are using 16 channels that we're not able to gain back. You know, so we now have made our 32 channel mixer 16 channels. The other downside of this is that we can only record 16 channels on our multi-track if we are doing that. Otherwise, if you're able to be okay with those cons that we're doing, this is some pretty awesome routing that we can do with the X32 and the Waves XWSG card. Now, there are some other ways of doing routing, so make sure you check out my other routing videos that I have on this. Thank you so much.